in this machine learning class we will see the maximum likelihood estimation which is otherwise called as mle from fourth unit supervised learning this uh, maximum likelihood estimation is the last topic from fourth unit and uh, from the next class we will start our fifth unit what is maximum likelihood estimation that is mle so it is used to estimate the coefficient of logistic regression okay so the coefficient will be either 0 or 1 isn't it for logistic regression let us take one problem that is a coin flip problem suppose if we toss any coin we will get either head or tail if we get head then uh, it is 1 if we get tail then this is 0 okay suppose if we toss the coin 10 times then what is the expected outcome 5 times we will get head and 5 times we will get tail so this is what the expected outcome right so now uh, what is the probability of getting only head okay how many times we are tossing our coin 10 times how many uh, what is the expected outcome for getting head that is 5 isn't it so 5 by 10 which is equal to 0 0.5 as per our hour suppose if p value that is the probability value is greater than 5 that is 0 0.5 then this is favor of head okay suppose if the probability value is less than 5 then this is against head okay so our problem is what is the probability of getting only head we never talk about tail right so if the p value greater than 0 0.5 then favoring of head if the value is less than 0 0.5 then this is against head suppose if we flip n times uh, of this coin then x value equal to x1 x2 etc up to xn x yeah, that is n times we are going to toss our coin now xi can take any value 0 or 1 0 means tail and 1 means head okay if xi equal to 1 that is head is outcome xi equal to 0 then tail is the outcome now we use the Bernoulli distribution which represent each flip of the coin that is flip the f of xi given theta which is equal to theta power xi into 1 minus theta whole power 1 minus xi so this is the Bernoulli distribution equation. Uh, here each observation x is iid. iid means independent and identically distributed. That means each flip is independent to each other. Okay. So this is different. In this flip we will get either 0 or 1. And in this flip we will get either 0 or 1. That is head or tail. Head or tail. Okay. So, these flips that is x values are IID that is independent and identically distributed and the joint distribution simplifies the product of distributions. Product of distributions that is f of x1 to xn which given theta which is equal to i equal to 1 to n f of xi theta that is x equal to uh, x1 to xn is simplified into xi okay equal to theta of x1 into 1 minus theta of 1 minus xi etc up to theta of x power n into 1 minus theta whole power 1 minus xn okay which is equal to theta power hash i of 1 minus theta whole power n minus hash i Okay, this is the simplified formula and as h is nothing but the number of flips that resulted the expected outcome. So, as per our example, the expected outcome is head. Okay, now the likelihood equation is likelihood L of theta gives x. This is the likelihood theta gives x which is equal to i equal to 1 to n f of x i given theta. So, this is the likelihood equation. But the likelihood function is not a probability. For example, sometimes we will get 
zero point two five or sometimes we will get zero or sometimes we will get one. That is, suppose if we flop uh, flip five times a single coin, the probability of getting head is sometimes zero point two five. Sometimes we won't have any head. All the tails will come, and sometimes one. That is, all the heads will come. All five times we'll get only heads. Okay. So the MLE is about to predict the value of parameters that maximize the likelihood function. Okay. So log L of theta gives x, which is equal to summation of i equal to one to n log f of x i gives theta. Okay, this is the maximum likelihood function. So far, we have seen the definition of maximum likelihood estimation from fourth unit uh, supervised learning, and we have seen one simple example for this also, that is flipping coin example. And uh, up to this, we have completed our fourth unit. From next class, we will start our fifth unit. Thank you.